love me hate me there is no in between now that quote had come from Matt Fury now at the moment there are a lot of people on social media who are terrified of doing the wrong thing terrified of saying the wrong thing and terrified that the angry mob of keyboard warriors or social justice warriors will come racing after them and with the little burning torches and surround you and again point your finger and threaten they're going to do this and they're going to do that to you and because of that a lot of people are just kind of tiptoeing through life trying not to have an opinion or trying not to have an opinion that upsets anyone but as Matt Fury says love me or hate me there's no money in between now I'm sure there are people that you probably can't stand you probably detest them whatever reason maybe they had done something to you in the past maybe they had sold you a product that was totally useless or made fun of you or whatever it was or you probably have people who you are a big fan of who you probably watch everything they do read everything they do open their emails or whatever because you are a huge fan now at both of those extremes that is where the money is made I remember hearing um, a while back when the, all, it all kind of kicked off in America about the American footballers taking the knee and one of the footballers was kind of kicked out now I think I'm getting the story right but Nike had stood behind this player and supported him and said yes we are 100% behind this player and we can understand why he's doing it whatever and you know we are right behind him and it didn't take long before all the kind of keyboard warriors came out of their little kind of hiding holes and suddenly started attacking Nike saying oh I'll never buy anything you ever make again I'll never do this and you're the worst company ever and how dare you take this stand on this coward or whatever whatever kind of flack they were throwing and Nike said no we totally believe what this person is doing and we're totally standing behind them and if you don't like it well just get your stuff somewhere else now they probably didn't say that but I would have said that I would have said go sling yourself and go find somewhere else to buy your stuff because you're not the type of customer that I want now anybody who was maybe kind of middle ground on Nike when Nike made that decision it either drove them one of two ways either they were instantly attracted to the company for having such a kind of raw, uh, strong moral kind of backbone uh, and standing up for something that is totally right or they just totally detested the company and how dare they get involved in politics or whatever and what they should do is stick my stick to making trainers or t-shirts or whatever they're doing that is none of their business but in that case I'm sure a lot of people who were probably kind of meh about Nike didn't really have an opinion about them suddenly were attracted to them because they took a stand and when it probably came to buying products or whatever they probably gave Nike a second look because they believed in what the brand were doing and then the other people then who said well I'll never buy anything again even though they might have said that at the time <laughs> I'm sure if Nike brings out some kind of special trainers in a couple of years time eventually that kind of hate or bile that's built up right now will probably disappear and they will probably still go ahead and buy those runners but in that case as you probably would see I'm sure Nike sales went up and the little group of fans or maybe the large group of fans of Nike fans I'm sure were kind of attracted closer to them over any other kind of sportswear company because they took that stand so as Matt Fury said there is no money in the in-between you know you don't want somebody to come upon your book in the Amazon store and go nah I'm not really into that person you want somebody scrolling through the book listings come upon your book and say yes that is my favorite writer I can't wait to get my hands on that book or <laughs> the kind of looking the opposite way of saying oh my god I can't believe this person has taken another book out and you know I, I detest that guy or I got girl or whatever but they have a strong feeling for you either way and you will find sometimes I know I even have found it myself too sometimes when you have a strong dislike of somebody you'll still follow them it's almost like you know if you cut your hand and you have a cut and you know it's sore when you touch it but you still can't stop yourself from touching it every so often just to get that little jab of pain or just to jangle that nerve or whatever and you do kind of poke and prick at that sore point and it is sometimes like that also when you have somebody remember that you detest I know there's a, a chat show host on Irish radio and some days I can listen to him but some days he just drives me up the wall because I think that he knows it all or he brings on maybe new stories which 
he describes as himself uh, as being despicable or horrible or horrendous and all those kind of big words just to horrify the public and then he will gladly go ahead and write his show around that again making money for the advertisers kind of piggybacking on bad news and all those kind of horrific kind of killings and murders and whatever takes place but he kind of makes a, an advertising you know a lifestyle off that so some days that guy really really pisses me off and i just want to punch him in the throat sometimes because he winds me up so much but the best part is i will find sometimes when i am looking for something to listen to when it comes to maybe when his show is starting off sometimes i do listen in even though the guy drives me up the wall sometimes again it's like that picking the cut I don't know why maybe it's some reason we like kind of making ourselves suffer or anger ourselves and I do find that sometimes I will listen to his show but if I had no feeling toward him at all you know I probably wouldn't turn that dial to his uh, radio show because he would mean nothing to me but in both cases because I either maybe love that broadcaster or hated that broadcaster I will find that when his show is on I will probably turn the dial and go and listen in and to see what he's talking about today that I can anger myself about and I remember reading Jim Edwards saying about this kind of quote saying that you know he knows that sometimes people buy his products even though they hate him they totally are disgusted by him but they will find people who are angry with him who will buy his products who will probably maybe publicly slate it saying it's the worst product ever or they'll just get angry just to see what it's like but they'll actually pay for the product and they'll keep the product even though they can't stand and detest him because they have such a strong kind of feeling towards him that they're still willing to get out their credit card and buy his product because they hate him so much now that probably sounds weird but as i said none of us are kind of <laughs> really sane on this planet we've all got our own quirks and our own kind of little kind of i don't know what you call it but anyway so Whatever you are doing today, consider that uh, saying from, or that quote from Matt Fury, love me, hate me, there is no money in between. So if you do want to take a stand on a particular topic, again, it could be who is going up for election in the American you know, presidency, or again, something like Nike who supported that player who took a knee, or something like that. If you have a strong feeling toward that, don't be one of those people who just kind of, you know, looks for the safe ground in the middle where you're not going to offend anybody because nobody is going to remember you if that's a stand you take. Like Nike supporting that player, if you kind of come out publicly with what your beliefs are, again, you're not going to have everybody flocking to you. But anyone who does like you will have a stronger bond to you because they appreciate what you're doing and you know they have a greater love for you for doing for taking those actions and again the people who are the haters you're going to push them away but they probably weren't interested in your products anyway so what is the point of even talking to them and you will find too like as jim says you will find the haters who just can't stand you at all will probably still buy the odd product of you because they for some reason again like picking the open wound for some reason it you know they need to get that little nerve jangled every so often they need to get annoyed about something and you are the person that is going to give it to them so consider that today whatever you're doing love me hate me there is no money in between and if you are making no money right now that could be one of the reasons it's because you're just too vanilla you're too magnolia you just kind of blend in in the crowd and you're maybe worried about the social justice warriors coming after you so as always keep that in mind today and if you're looking for more great content do a search for right come w-r-i-t-e-c-o-m-e dot -E com you'll find the content all over the web and if you love me or hate me, I don't really care. I'm still going to make these videos. So as always, have a great day and thanks for your time today. Take care. Bye-bye.